Hello there and welcome to Court TV News at 4 with me, Sabena Izuku. Nigerian's President-elect Mohamedou Buhari has promised that the incoming government under the All Progressive Congress APC will be that of governing party and not a ruling party. Buhari stated this while delivering his acceptance speech after receiving uh, the certificate of return from the chairman of the Independent National Electric Commission. Professor Atahiru Jaga at the International Conference Center and venue of the handing over. The APC flag bearer and incoming president seized the occasion and called for a minute silence in honor of those who died in the quest for change. He, however, promised that his government, for all Nigerians, regardless of who voted for the presidential pools, assuring them his government will not take Nigerians for granted. Meanwhile, for the interest shown by the international community in the just concluded presidential and parliamentary elections, President elect Mohamedou Buhari acknowledged the President of the U.S. and the Secretary General of the United Nations, thanking them for their support. And away from that, after four attempts, the Independent National Electric Commission has declared the presidential candidate of the All Progressive Congress, Mohamedou Buhari, winner of the March 28th presidential elections. He pulled uh, 15 million um, million four hundred and twenty four thousand uh, nine hundred and twenty one votes to unseat the incumbent president good luck jonathan who scored twelve million eight hundred and fifty three thousand one hundred and sixty two votes Buhari won outright in 21 states of the Federation and also got the required 25 percent of votes in 27 states president good luck jonathan was victorious in 15 states and the federal capital territory the winner and is return elected. Signed by me as the returning officer and dated this first day of April 2015. General Mohamedou Buhari of the All Progressive Congress, APC, has emerged the winner of the 2015 presidential elections. The APC presidential candidate emerged with 50,424,921 of uh, the votes drawn from 21 states to defeat President Goodluck Jonathan of the PDP, who pooled 12,853,162 million votes from 15 states and the Federal Capital Territory. Our correspondent, Olajide Adediron, has more on this. The battle for the Asso Rock Oval Office began proper on the 11th of December 2014, when the two leading candidates, General Muhammadu Buhari of the All Progressive Congress and President Goodluck Jonathan of the People's Democratic Party (PDP), emerged flag bearers of their respective political parties. PC. Hey. Hey, PC. Hey. Nigeria is not a zoological garden. Nigeria is not a forest. Nigeria is not a country that will be governed by laws and conventions. From here, they took their campaign to the nooks and cranny of Nigeria. <laughs> While the opposition party traveled around the country with a change message, the ruling party says its government transformation agenda has tripled the nation's economy. I want you to also know that our party has been a transformation party that has transformed Nigeria. You heard the excuses for failure to fix basic infrastructure, failure to arrest unprecedented levels of corruption, and halt the march of terrorists. Controversy over distribution of the permanent voter cards was initially cited as reason for the call of election postponement. That did not sell. The ruling party resorted to security situation in the Northeast, thereby seeking six weeks postponement to fight over six years' reign of insurgency in the Northeast. No matter the extent of INEC's preparedness, therefore, if the security of personnel, voters, election observers, and the election materials cannot be guaranteed, the life of innocent young men and women, as well as prospects for free, fair, credible and peaceful elections would be greatly jeopardized. Consequently, 
the Commission has decided to reschedule the 2015 general elections thus. The national elections, i.e. presidential and national assembly, are now to hold on March 28, 2015. While the state elections, governorship and state assembly are to hold on April 11, 2015. Six weeks over, Nigerian begins to take decision. The regular issues resurfaced, this time from Kadrida Makfunshani to late arrival of materials. At the end of the 48 hours vote, results started trickling in. The process almost disrupted by the PDP returning agent, Eda Gosde Rubebe. Let him go to his office and send a committee to Kano. Jaka has nothing to reply here. He did not come to this place to reply to us about River State before he took us. Let him go to his office. Please. We will not live here. May I, may I respond? You cannot respond here. Uh -huh. You cannot respond here. You cannot respond here. You cannot respond here. You didn't come here to respond on the issue of River State. You cannot respond here. He cannot respond here. You have been. He has said he did it in his office. You Let him go to his office and respond. While Eda Rubebe was at it, Professor Tairu Jega remained calm. You cannot respond here. You cannot respond here. You cannot respond here. You didn't come here to respond on the issue of River State. You cannot respond here. Sanity returns, and it was time for the INEC chairman to respond to PDP allegation. As I speak with you now, I have not received anything from the secretary to the commission. That is with regards to the issue of the so-called petition. With regards to what you said about results published by, uh, allegedly published by APC on his website, you know, I, I do not give results to anybody. The results we announced formally as INEC are results that are declared here. And we have warned everybody to be careful and to ensure that they do not declare results which we have not officially announced. So as far as I'm concerned, I have not seen any results. I have not given anybody any results. So for you to even engage me on that issue, I think, frankly, it is not fair to me. I have not seen the results. How can I speak about something I have not seen? So please let us be careful about what we say or do. And let us not disrupt a process that has ended peacefully and in a matter of hours we would be able to finish it. Mr. Orubobe, you are a former minister of the Federal Republic. You know, you are a statesman in your own right, so you should be careful about what you say or what allegations or accusations you make, and certainly you should be careful about your public conduct. Before coalition ends, the news of President Goodluck Jonathan of the PDP conceding defeat to the candidate of All Progressive Congress, General Muhammad Buhari, who clearly won 20 states, filtered in. And here comes the final report. I, Professor Atahiru Muhammad Jiga, hereby certify that Muhammad Buhari of APC, having satisfied the requirements of the law and scored the highest number of votes, is hereby declared the winner and is returned elected. Signed by me as the returning officer and dated this first day of April 2015. The president-elect General Muhammad Buhari of the APC will be sworn in on the 29th of May 2015. For TV News, Abuja. You're still watching Call TV News on the hour. We'll take a short break and when we return, there'll be more stars for you. Don't go away.
We must learn to lead together as brothers or perish together as fools. Martin Luther King Jr. Nigeria's new president-elect Muhammadu Buhari hailed pews that will lead to the first democratic change of power in Africa's most populous nation as historic hours after he secured a decisive victory. An official results released early Wednesday, Buhari won Nigeria's presidential election by 2.57 million votes, defeating incumbent President Goodluck Jonathan in a trial greeted by joyous street celebrations. The victory lies a new chapter in the country's often turbulent history after six military coups since independence in 1960 and 16 years of unbroken civilian rule by the People's Democratic Party. President Jonathan engaged in a separated campaign and was a worthy opponent. In a more profound way, it is you, Nigerians, that have won. The people have shown their love for our nation and their belief in democracy. President Kulak Jonathan wants members of the People's Democratic Party to celebrate his loss in Saturday's elections rather than mourn. He also advised anyone aggrieved in the outcome of the results to seek redress in court. The president said this in a personally signed statement after results of the presidential election were announced. He noted that the PDP had in the last 16 years established a legacy of democratic freedom, transparency, economic growth, as well as free and fair elections. The president also insisted that he delivered on his promise on a credible election and again congratulated President-elect Mohamedou Buhari. And away from that, the former head of state, Abdul Salami Abubakar, has hailed President Gulag Jonathan as a statesman for conceding defeat even before the conclusion of the collation of results. General Abubakar, who also heads the National Peace Committee, spoke with journalists shortly after a closed door meeting with President at the State House Abuja. He explained that he was in the middle of a meeting with international observers when the president elect informed him that President Goodluck Jonathan has conceded defeat. The former head of state noted that the members of the committee then decided to meet the president to thank him for putting national interests above self. The election has been very peaceful, despite the hitches on there. At the end of the election, at the counting, there are a lot of, uh, of evils that have happened. But thankfully, they have been contained. We were at the middle of a meeting with the international observers to try to see how we can still water the tension down. When gladly, I called General Buhari, we are going to see him. He told me, uh, Mr. President has called him at about 5.15 and congratulated him and conceded, uh, conceded defeat. We were spellbound. And the reason we have come here is to thank President Jonathan for this statementship. In the history of Nigeria, I think this is the first time where a contestant has called his rival to congratulate him. And through this point, President Jonathan has always maintained a point that the blood of Nigeria is not worth his presidency. And by his action, he has proved that. He has proved that he is a man of his words, because during our interaction on this peace committee, he has always maintained he is going to accept the result of the election, 
whichever way it has done. Well, the International Observers has commended the National Peace Committee for its efforts at ensuring peaceful electric process. They also called the Nigerians to see the entire process with maturity and discipline shown during the March 28th presidential and federal legislative elections. The team, which comprises the ECOWAS mission led by former Ghana President John Kufa and African Union Observer Mission Chief, former Liberian leader Professor Amos Sawyer and former Malawi President Bakili Muluzi who headed the Commonwealth Pools observers were unanimous in praising the committee chaired by former military leader Abdul Salami Abubakar. They also encouraged the committee members to continue the job of building trust and confidence for peaceful coexistence, especially during the post-elections period, just like they did by facilitating the Abuja Peace Accord signed by the major political contenders. In his response, Abubakar expressed appreciation to the International Election Observers Groups and promised that the committee will continue its peace-building work. If you're watching Court TV News on Hour, we'll take another break and when we return this time, there will be more stories from uh, Olusha Gwambasanjo, the president, who congratulated um, our former president. Um, good luck, Jonathan. And there will be more stories after that. Stay with us. Every day, every hour, and every minute, news break in Nigeria. Things happen so fast, it's most times difficult to track and comprehend them. But that's what we do right here on DJ360. 2015, would you want to come back again? It's like asking Jesus Christ if he knew he was going to die, will you, come, will you want to come back as the savior of the world again? We do not just help you track the stories, we break them down. Explore all the angles, analyze the issues so that you can fully comprehend the stories and use them to make the right decisions. Welcome back. For more information, you can reach us on our social media platform, and that's on facebook.com forward slash court TV news, and also on Twitter handle, it will be at court TV news NG. On our YouTube, youtube.com forward slash court TV Liver space and the news. Former President Olusegun Obasanjo has congratulated President-elect Mohamedou Buhari on his victory at the 2015 presidential polls. He urged him to fight corruption and carry out reforms in various sectors. The congratulatory uh, message was issued in Abekuta on Tuesday. Obasanjo says, with so much harm already done to many national institutions, including the military, which proudly nurtured you and me, you will have a lot to, to you will have a lot to do on institution reform education health sector economy security infrastructure power youth employment agricultural business oil and gas external affairs cohesiveness of our nation and riding all our land of corruption also, former Vice President Atiku Abubakar congratulated Buhari commending the unprecedented victory of the All Progressive Congress within two years of its official formation. At the APC headquarters in Abuja, the celebrants numbering over 2,000 danced around the office, chanting victory songs, various dance groups, traditional dramas, well wishes, and party cheatings exchanged pleasantries for party victory at the pools. Some of the groups chanted with Buhari name describing him as the needed change. No fewer than uh, 100 journalists comprising local and international media were also at the party secretariat waiting to receive Buhari's security agents, including men of uh, the Department of State, Security Service, DSS, and the police were seen as strategic positions within and outside the Secretariat to ensure security. Thousands of Kano residents celebrated late into the night as Mohamedou Buhari was announced as the winner of Saturday presidential election. The celebration was extended into Wednesday's morning with many people displaying pictures of President-elect and the party symbol. They also told Court TV News what Buhari's election meant to them.
and outside Nigeria. Nuclear talks between six world powers and Iran could go on past the midnight 22 GMT deadline, as officials says. Representatives are reportedly preparing to issue a general statement focusing on points of agreement, which will be enough to allow for a new phase of talks on a comprehensive deal. But there is no sign that the most contentious issues have been resolved. The world powers want to restrict Iran's nuclear program in return for relief for crippling sanctions. The so-called P5 plus 1, the US, UK, France, China and Russia plus Germany are seeking to ensure Iran could not assemble a nuclear weapon in less than a year. The foreign ministers met several times at a museum. Bu Rivage Palace Hotel on Tuesday morning at a high level push to meet self imposed deadline to agree a political framework agreement by end of the day. Russian top diplomat Sergei Larov announced that prospects were very good and promising and says he was returning to the talks after leaving for another engagement on Monday. And that's it on the news on the hour. Do join us at the top of the hour for global news. I am Savannah Zoku. And thank you very much indeed for watching.